Hi, and welcome to another shortcut tutorial by Musical Box. Today, I'll show you the method I use to export a video with a transparent background. This is regularly requested on the shortcut forum. And for a good reason. Take this YouTube button as an example, if it already has a transparent background, you won't need to apply special filters each time you want to use it in a video project. Let's begin. I'm putting together this video in March 2021, and I'm using Shotcut 210227. This is the latest version available at the moment. The project in the timeline is the same one I used to create the YouTube button you saw at the beginning of the video. The clips inside tracks V2 and V3 are the images used to animate the button. Track V1 contains a green clip that serves as a background for the whole animation. This green background layer is important, because without it, Transparency would only be applied to the bottom video track during the export process. And finally, at the very bottom of the timeline, we have the A1 audio track. It contains the sound effects used in the animation. We're ready to start. Let's begin by making sure the project is saved. Open the timeline menu. In Other, click on Copy Timeline to Source. As you can guess by its name, this tool copies everything from the timeline and sends it to the source pane. This copy can then be treated like a single video clip. You can trim it, apply filters to it, and export it. Notice that after you click to use this tool, the player automatically switches from the Project tab to the Source tab. Go to Filters. Click the plus button and in the search tool, start typing the word chroma. When you see chroma key simple appear in the results, click on it. In the filter parameters, click on the color picker button. Then, move to the player pane and click anywhere on the green background. Even if it seemed like nothing happened, the chroma key filter was applied to our copy of the timeline that is now in the source pane. Open the Export tab. In the Export Presets, go to Stock, Alpha, and choose QuickTime Animation. Click on the Advanced button. Open the tab called Other. Check if you see this line. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that line was missing in older versions of Shotcut. So if you don't see it, you'll have to include it manually or upgrade to a more recent version of Shotcut. Click on the Export File button. Give a name to the file. And click on the Save button. And that's it, we're done. Our YouTube animated button is ready to insert in other projects. Let's test it. There is nothing wrong with your monitor. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. After I was almost done creating this tutorial, I realized that I forgot to include important informations about clips with transparent backgrounds. Here they are. Fact number one. If you open your new transparent video clip in a media player, you'll probably say to yourself, what the f Why is the green background still there? Don't worry. I can't explain why but this is normal. Fact number two. The same thing will happen if you insert the transparent clip on the timeline and there's nothing on the tracks below, or if there is no track below at all. In a project, for the transparency to work, the clip must always be on top of at least one other video clip. And that's about it. We can now resume the, the tutorial. I have a new project here, with a video clip already on track V1. And I'll drag the transparent clip I made earlier on track V2. It seems okay, 
But let's zoom to 100% and have a closer look at the edges. We can see here that the chroma key filter didn't remove all the green background. To fix this, we need to use a alpha channel adjust filter. In the filters tab, click on the plus button. Look for alpha channel adjust and click on it. Change the mode to shrink soft. It looks like the 50% default setting is perfect for removing what remained of the green background. Even if I zoom at 200%, we can't see the green line anymore. But obviously we don't want to apply a filter each time we will use this animation in a project. We need to fix the problem at the source. So let's go back to the YouTube button project. We start by repeating the first two steps we did earlier. Copy the timeline to the source and apply the chroma key filter. Then we add the alpha channel adjust filter. Change the mode to shrink soft and like we did earlier, leave the amount at 50%. Then we can export, using the same preset as before, and try the animation again in a project. Perfect. Let's see what it looks like at full resolution. Using the same method for removing their backgrounds, I made this animated transition. And in Blender, this animated 3D logo. I will end this tutorial by showing you how you can use this method on another format of animation. I used an animation created with Shotcut as an example in the tutorial. But the same method can be used to give transparency to a video that already has a green background. To demonstrate this, I will use that video found online. Of course this is not the kind of clip you'd use frequently in your projects, but you can find tons of buttons and transitions online with green backgrounds. And those are worth the effort of giving them permanent transparency. I only use this video with complex edges and movements to demonstrate here how effective the method can be. The method is in fact identical to what you already learned. The only difference being that the clip is alone in the timeline. No additional green background is required. As before, copy the timeline to the source. Apply the filters. and export the video using the QuickTime animation preset. And here's the result. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Be safe, and thanks for watching.